All right, what is up, what is up? Welcome to episode 138 of the Grease Couch Chronicles. And man, this has been a long time coming because of the technical difficulties. Yes. So I'm like a little bit, a little bit annoyed. But yeah, well, yeah. In the tech space, pod world. Yes. But before we do get started, um, for those who are viewing visually, Shop Glow Nude, we got the products right here in front of you. Yes. Yeah, information. Yes, guys, visit us on our website at www.glownudeshop.com or you can follow us on our Instagram at glow.nude. We also have a TikTok. You can follow us there at yeah. Glow Nude Skincare or at Glow Nude. I don't know how TikTok works with the two names. I don't know. I don't know what's your at name on it. Like, how do, which one's that? I think I have like Yo JD. Is that? Yo, JD but there, there's like two names though. So which one's your, which one do you give out to say subscribe? You guys say for what, the podcast? We no, I'm something. saying like, Glow Nude has a TikTok. Yeah, right. <laughs> Follow us on TikTok. Yeah. Follow Every, the podcast too, you know? Yeah, everything you need to know is in the description, guys. Yeah, let's get started. What do we got? Okay. What's on the bucket? Um, 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 um. Should have been at this over, man, but it's just, it's a long start. Mood changes, perfect. With, with, you know what I mean? Like it's fitting. It's fitting with how we try to freaking get this started today. Um, mood changer. All right. I know people love to say like, don't let ten seconds out of twenty four hours affect <laughs> your whole day. Affect your whole day. But like, when it comes to a mood, like when you've been riding a certain mood throughout the day, and then one little thing happens that just turns everything off. You know what I mean? Love like. You. It really can affect your whole day. Like, you'll, you'll sit there and be like, damn, like, that really messed everything up. You know what I mean? So, I feel like you shouldn't dismiss it like saying, like, if you had $10 million and somebody took $10, like, it's not the same. That's just money, you know what I mean? Then when I, somebody messes with your mood and messes with your vibe, it, especially with somebody, like, you really listen to them or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, it, it sucks when it's like, you know, when they say something or something happens that just changes your whole mood, you know what I mean? It's hard to really dig yourself out of that, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Um, I definitely came home from work early because my mood was fucked up. <laughs> that's how bad it gets for me. Like, uh, I don't like that shit because it affects how I fucking, like, work. So once I'm in, like, a bad mood, like, um... I shut down. <laughs> I, that. I, yeah, I feel that. Um, I mean, what are good ways to really get yourself out of a, a bad mood? For me personally, I like to play some music. I play some nice R and B music. You know what I mean? Some nice um, Afro beats. Over you know what I mean? Those stuff, those type of like vibes. You know where you can just really chill and just listen to the music. And you know what I mean? Of course, um, I smoke. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that, was that part. <laughs> I was that, that's where I was at. Where you're like, <laughs> I, I gotta smoke a blunt because yeah. I'm gonna be annoyed for the rest of eternity. If I, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. If I don't, I'll be mad. Yeah. Definitely. So you you gotta smoke. You know what I mean? No cap. Um, you yeah. gotta smoke. And um. Yeah, listen to music. Go for a walk. A lot of people go for walks. Yes. Walks working out. Yeah. Move yeah, your body. Yeah. yeah. Music working out. Randomly, I was about to say brush your teeth. I don't know. Brush your teeth? I don't know why that would be considered a soothing method. Definitely just brush your teeth. I don't want to lie. Brush your teeth to calm yourself down. I don't want to lie. That's um, funny as hell. <laughs> moving on. Um, but... Going right along with that, um, as far as money and what it equates as far as happiness, do you feel like when you have a certain amount of money or when you're in a position financially that's up that you feel more Stop. happy? Do, do you feel like that makes you happier? Yeah, of course. <laughs> money equals happiness. You, you think so? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, like, uh, Money equals happiness forever. You know what? If you have the money, you don't have to go to work. You don't have to be stressed out. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I can just go on wild trips. I can just, 
You know what I mean? Go on all types of trips and live a luscious life because I just have money. You know what I mean? And that means in all aspects. I mean, like, just really have the money off, like, your endeavors making you residual income. Like, you physically don't have to do nothing in a sense. You know what I mean? So, and you have just money. I feel like in that sense, yeah, that's happiness right there because I can just do whatever. You have freedom. The money is buying you freedom. You know what I mean? So, that's what I think. I feel like... Money does equal happiness to a certain extent, but it's limited. Like, it only goes thus far. Because it's going to solve the problems that you have. Yeah, I mean, work is how you look at it. Yeah, work is one aspect of your life. It's a, it's a, it's a chunk. It's what really aspect. makes a lot of people, un- people unhappy, though. I realized it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Like, I'm not really lie, but it makes me very unhappy. Yeah, you're really unhappy because of your job. If you remove your job from the situation, I feel like a lot of people, like, if you remove the job, you'll be a lot more happier. But that is like... Take the money, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, if y'all understand that, yo, shout out, put up shout out to Jen. It's a movie, man. Oh, man. But yeah, if you understand that, if you just remove the job and just have the money from it, how happy would you be? You I mean, that's in a perfect world. <laughs> That is happiness. Yeah, you're but then, that. what if your relationship is like stressing you out now? Then you just have money. You, you can't it. throw money at your relationship. <laughs> 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 Shut up, bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, but for real, let's, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. <laughs> I feel like, in my sense, like you have to be like a millionaire at least. Yeah, <laughs> like Bezos. Look at all You gotta be a millionaire. You can't, you can't be a thousandaire trying to like, get out of the money. Not a thousandaire. Yeah, that's the thing. I think that's the thing. I think I'm a coinaire. <laughs> I'm not a bear. I'm a chameleonaire. What is a chameleonaire? <laughs> Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> Alright, move, move past that. Let's get out of here. Um, WNBA player, Brittany Griner. Griner. I'm gonna say Griner, but it's Griner. Brittany Griner has been released from the Russian prison. Allegedly. And no, because I talk like this right here. Yeah, she's on a flight. Biden said it. She's on a flight heading. I need to physically see this chick on a flight in heading here. Home. Yeah, but I need to see her here. Like, yo, she was traded. Or some guy they call the Merchant of Death. Thanos. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. How crazy is this? Like, it's a fucking trade-off. Like, <laughs> nobody else finds that like weird or sus. That, but anyways. But the article, Gen Z. Free her till they free her, yo. Oh, that is <laughs> they crazy. Free her. She's on the source. Yeah, she's out here. That shit's like, still allegedly for me, yo. I don't, I don't, I don't even care about the dude's name. She was traded for some dude, you know what I mean? You already know the vibes. Why we had him here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> the same reason why she was here. CIA stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah, CIA, funny. we give it up. Russia, um, <laughs> good on you. <laughs> good on you, man. Shout out to the Reiner. Yeah, she's out, you know what I mean? Welcome back, allegedly. Mm, allegedly. We don't know. Yeah. But um, we're going to go ahead and take a break right here. This is a beat by me, Jay Breeze. Enjoy. All right, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that. And do please be in contact. Back outside, boys. Back outside. Um, where are we, where are we starting this? Where are we at? Where so, <clears throat> Kevin Hart. I'm sorry, Kevin, Kevin Hart. Jelly Hart. Imagine his real name really is Jelly. And it's fine, I want it. It's just, just a hell of a bit. Like, yeah, that's look. Like, it's a jokingly podcast. Gen Z put it up, you know. And what, what's Kevin Hart's been like? Um, I, let's keep it straight. Let's keep it hard. Um, he has a um vegan, um Rest, fast food fast restaurant. Fast food restaurant. Um, eat your heart out. Yes. So tell us that. Um, Kevin Hart's been killing it. No cap though. Um, he's been he's wise. Yeah. He's been in a lot of movies. Um, hasn't won any award though. Kind of weird. Um, but um, how do you feel about his acting? I'm giving. We're giving him flowers, but. Let's, let's see what's up. Let's, um, let's take a little, little dive into Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> um, his acting 
is funny. I'm not going to lie. I don't know who you His acting is funny. His stand-up is funny. As far as, like... I like his earlier stuff. As far as his stuff now, I'm not really a fan, but I do give him the fact that he is funny. And his Stop movies is good. Mm-hmm. Except for the Jumanji shit. I don't Stop like The Rock, cow. so. Yeah, um, <laughs> he, he be doing some action stuff. I've been trying to see what's doing his action stuff, but all his comedic stuff has been funny. Like, literally. Um, I like the, the one he was like the best man wrangler or some weird stuff. That His middle crazy. name is Darnell. Darnell? <laughs> no, you're Kevin, Kevin Hart, boy. Yeah. Darnell Hart. <laughs> Darnell. Darnell just seems like a player. For real? Like, you're a player. If you know Darnell. what happened, you know what happened. But, but yeah. we'll give him his flowers. <laughs> so, yeah, shout out to Kevin Hart, man. Yeah, he has a um, that ve- vegan fast food restaurant. Yeah. I think it's called um, Eat Your Heart Out. Yeah, Eat Your Heart Out. Yeah. And he's um, been on an upward, um, you know, trend. You know, we all remember what happened with the um, Oscars, you know. So, for him to continuously boost in his notoriety and, you know, keep killing it. And, of course, you know, coming out with a vegan restaurant. He's doing a partner, partnership now with C4 Energy Drink. It was actually called Heart House. Heart House, yeah. Yeah. So, eat your heart out. What is our problem? <laughs> <laughs> Why would we think it's all <laughs> he's going to be hard out? Um, he has been doing a lot of good things. And um, yeah, he's had a lot of uh, partnerships for athletics, athletic wear. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, Isn't he in Nova Men? Every nigga is Nova Men. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to Kevin Hart, man. Moving yes. on. Moving on. Um, Moving on. <sighs> Balenciaga gate. There's a man on Balenciaga. Everybody's we're canceling Balenciaga. Um, they're uh, apparently pedophiles. You know, what I mean, uh, they're in deals with pedophiles. So yeah, they're canceling. Yeah, options. it's canceling Balenciaga time. I'll, I've always been vocal about Balenciaga and the the sham they really had on y'all. <laughs> I like, yo, look at this brand. <laughs> I knew something was up. Yeah. I knew something was up. But there you go. So, we're canceling Balenciaga. No more Balenci. So, yeah. It's about time, honestly. I, I feel like, like... I'm not trying to be a hater, but like, yo, they've been up to some wild stuff. You would be crazy not to, you know? Yeah. Like, do your own research. The thing is, it's just that, like, it's time that people start, like, Making these brands more accountable for their actions. Um, that's Pete. That's Pete. I personally don't wear that stuff, so I don't care. Nah, bro. But if you got it, why not, right? <laughs> that's Pete. That's Pete. Burn it, if you mm-hmm. will, but I don't burn please stuff. don't be a jackass and buy it to burn it. That's. <laughs> They're doing that? <laughs> it defeats the purpose. Like, oh, man, it really wild. defeats the purpose. That's so wild. Don't buy it to burn it. Just crazy. burn what you have if you want to. Yeah. Or sell it. Sell it. I'm a big fan. Just sell it. Sell it for low. Right. Drop it $500 and just like, yeah, let's let this go. So I didn't buy it. Sure. Um, and we got... We'll be right along. What is that? You got to tell me about <clears> that. Oh, yeah. I was thinking, since... um. We headed into music anyway, um, but it's right along the borders of music. If you were to have a fantasy mashup album between two artists that wouldn't necessarily do an album together, who would you choose? Wow, that's wild. Frank Ocean, number one. Frank Ocean and who? I want him to do an album with Party Next Door. What the hell? (laughs) That would be a sick album. That'd be a yeah. sick album, yo. And then hold up, the state dollar sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the state tie dollar sign, and have him do an album with Tory Lanez. You know who I would choose? I would choose Drake. And put these Tory up. Lanez. Put these up. We need you to start doing some stuff. Put these up. Put these mashups up. Yeah, yeah. I would choose Drake and Tory Lanez. I feel like that would be an insanely toxic album, but it'd be great. Of course, we gotta give it to the woman. Let's get SZA. And, and everybody who... This is mine. <laughs> Let's get... <laughs> that was one of them. <laughs> I like that sounds good. 
I will take SZA <laughs> and I'll put her with the other cat. I thought that would work. I think I'll take Lauren London. Not Lauren. Is it Lauren London? Lauren Hill, you mean? No, yeah. Lauren Hill. And um, what's her name? Frick. She's on uh, Cocoa Butter thing. Uh, Ari Lennox. Yeah, Ari Lennox. Yeah, I'll take Lauren Hill and Ari Lennox. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, I'll do that girl combo. I want to take her. Put it with Chloe Bailey. Her and Chloe Bailey. Yeah, her and Chloe Bailey. I would take um, Adele Ooh. and Hallie Bailey. Oh. <laughs> that would be it. I don't know what the hell we're out of it. Alright, uh, one more. Um, Liz Legends, two legends. Alright, um, I will take. I will take Ray Charles and put him with Aretha Franklin. Mm, that's a soulful album right there. I will take Whitney Houston and oh. the Isley Brothers. Whoa. <laughs> I'll take Earth, Wind, and Fire and put him with Michael Jackson. <laughs> Wind and Fire. <laughs> that would be a sick album, yo. Oh Earth, my god. Wind, Imagine the body look work. Those would be dope. That would be good. Those Ooh, be dope. One, more, one more, one more. I think I'll take. Nah. That. Nah. Yeah. Nah. 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 Alright, um. <laughs> I would queue up the music takes sound, but you know what I mean? We're not gonna chance it. Uh, I'm just not gonna move this around like that. <laughs> music media. <laughs> Put the music media up. <laughs> All right, um, we have Metro Boomin Heroes and Villains. Yeah. You know what I mean? He has a lot of various artists on this. You, you're definitely hip to Metro Boomin. I have some famous artists that have you on there. Don Tolliver is heavy on there. Um, the Weeknd oh, did uh, a remix to a song that already came out that people seem to be mad about. I think I heard that song. Yeah. I can't remember what I it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you Honestly, I'm on the side of if it sounds good, why not? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah I'm because you're gonna want to hear it yeah, if it sounds dope, good. It was dope, so and yeah. it's not like you're gonna neglect the original. Who neglects that? The original is lit. Yeah, I like the promo we did for it, so that's your boom. Shout out to that. Um, we have Lotto featuring Glorilla with Fuck the Club. That's a, another remix on Juicy Oh, that's song, tough. So. Do you feel like that's gonna happen? A lot now. What collab? Remix, remixes. Yeah, I feel like we're going down that path. I'm not the biggest hater on it, but I'm not the biggest supporter, lover on it. So there's that. Um, that's Pete. That's Pete. Um, stop. Whoa. SZA. SZA. Uh, by the time you're hearing this, the album will probably have dropped, right? Yes. It's Friday. It's Friday, right? Yeah. So SZA, you know SOS. So. We'll be, I will be listening to it, yes. and um, we'll, we'll probably give you our, we'll try to follow up on this, we'll probably give you our review on, of course, our it's SZA. on how we feel about the album, but you know what I mean, of course, Shirt goes hard, and uh, Blind, mm -hmm. she performed on SNL, uh, Kiki Pum hosted on S SNL last week, so, um, and congratulations to Kiki Pum, yeah, she's um, expecting a child, so yes. shout out to that, um, mm -hmm. I would cue the applause, but you know, it's like a bomb for the cows. Bombs for babies. Bombs for babies. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. yeah and the babies are throwing the bombs, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, that's Pete, that's Pete. Um, yeah. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. Right? Yeah, it's been us. Uh, make sure you subscribe on all our platforms. Let's get her to a thousand followers on Instagram still. We're still on that. Yeah, we're still um, on the road. Degrees Couch Chronicles, everywhere you listen to podcasts. Degrees Couch Chronicles, everywhere you follow on social media. And, um... You have anything else for them? Where no. Go? That's it. Get get it. Uh, get a head start on your shopping or uh, last minute shop like I do. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. That's me. That's me. Um, yeah, it's us. Reward ourselves. Reward everyone outside. But be safe out there, guys. Peace.